Welcome back. Well, today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be making a frozen pizza into a pan pizza. So come along for the journey, let's get started. So I have this generic frozen pizza that I just pulled out of the freezer. I'm trying to let it thaw so I can manipulate it a little bit more. It is a 11 inch by almost 12 inch and we're gonna put it into this pan here, which is, let's go down to the bottom, up the side a little bit, 11 inches. So that's okay, we're gonna go up the side a little bit. That's fine, no big deal. Let's try it. So this is our pan that we're going to be using. We have to put a little bit of oil into the bottom of the pan so it doesn't burn on us. We're just gonna be using this canola oil, nothing special. So, put a little bit of dab. Actually, no, let's put a little more in. We don't want to deep fry it, but yeah, we don't want it. We want it to kind of soak up a little bit into the crust. Oh, let's spread this around. Yep, getting all the grooves, yep. We want the crust to get a little bit of grease. So we want it to be greasy. That's fun. That's plenty. And then again, let's put it around. Yep, all up the side. This is a really handy tool. I like this. I was going to use my finger, but I don't want to get my finger all oily. Yeah, once we think we have it all nice and round, we can uh, go get the pizza and we'll put it in the pan. both hands so I'm gonna put you down okay so what I did is I just took my hand and I just pushed it down so now we're going to let the crust brown a little bit and then once it's brown we're going well let's set this to broil hi start okay so that's gonna broil what we're going to do is once I feel that this crust has browned and goldened we're just going to put it on the top rack for about two minutes. That's plenty of time for all the cheese to sear and really cook and, you know, get the meat cooked. But it's not enough time for the, uh, the Teflon to turn into a gas or like a fume. So it's about two minutes. Should be fine. Perfect time to uh, spread out these pepperonis so it's nice and even. So everybody gets a pepperoni when they take a bite. Mm, any more double top? Oh, yep, there's a double up one. There's a lot of pepperonis on this frozen pizza. Yeah, looks fine. Oh, let's put this guy right there. Perfect. Okay. So I can hear it start to sizzle. Sizzle is good. Yeah. Yeah, some more time. 
So let's take a peek, see what it looks like. Oh yeah, got a nice little brown crisp going on there. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, oh yes, yes, this is looking very good. Yep, yep, it looks real good. All right, let's just put this right here like this. Perfect. So it don't stick. Let's look at this side. Mmm, mm. yes, all right. Let's put it into the oven. Let's first grab a glove. Check. Oh, yes. I can feel the heat. Here we go. So let's turn this off. Pop this down like this. Let's see. Let's just do a quick run first. Oh, yeah. Top shelf, nice and close. Ooh, yes, look at that. Oh yeah. Two minutes, here we go. Two minutes. Two minutes on broil. Turn that off. Put that away. Now let's put this onto a rack so it can cool off. Okay. Might need two hands for this. I'm hoping it's just going to slide on out. Oh, oh, oh. It might, it might just slide on out. Need a good grip. Oh, listen to that sizzle. Oh, we're losing everything. All right, let's. Oh, yeah, we're losing everything. Push it back, push it back. Oh no, oh no. Big fail. So, other than we almost lost all our toppings by sliding it off, we won't do that in the future. If we do this again, just push it all back like that. Yep. Push it back. Push it back. Push. Okay, well... It's a little deformed. It's like a mutant pizza now. <laughs> I wonder if we can see what it looks like underneath. Let's let's try. See what we can see. Let's get down nice and low. Oh yeah, look at that. The sides aren't, but the the bottom looks nice and crispy. Here we go. Well, hmm, it's another bite. Well, look at that. Hmm. 
Hmm. I need another bite. Okay, so the crust is very, when you bite into it, like there's a crisp, but like it goes crunch. The cheese is a little wet. And the pepperonis are, like they're good. Like, don't get me wrong, like they're good, they're cooked. But I think I would put it, I would leave it in for another maybe 30, 15 to 30 seconds. I wouldn't go any more than 30 seconds because as you can tell, there's already a couple spots where it was like starting to really, a uh, little bit of burning happening. So I might lower the rack one under and then put it in for another 15 to 30 seconds. But I mean, I'm gonna give this a, a solid, like a high seven out of 10, because there is a, there's some improvements that we can do. And I, I, like I'll, I'll definitely try and make this again, because I really wanna see what I can do with that. I really wanna try and improve it. There, I would definitely, definitely change up how I would go about greasing the pan. Just so like the, so like the sides could, you know, Get a little bit of oil too on them because like that the bottom like the first bite that i took was like crispy and that's for the the majority of the oil sat like in the bottom because there wasn't enough time between like me greasing up the pan and then putting it in there there's a few there's a few seconds in there so it all kind of like slid in so it wasn't around the edge i wonder if there's like a spray thing that i can get that sticks to the edge like a spray like a spray oil because the oil that i use just as soon as you, as soon as you were done stopping, it just went right in. So I'm gonna try and change that up. Kind of leave it in for a few extra, a few extra seconds. Maybe I'll get that cheese a little bit more crispier and like a little bit more browning and make it not as wet. But the, the bottom crust, like the middle crust, good, very good, very crispy. It's not overpowered with the oil. Like it doesn't taste deep fried, which is good. That's not what I wanted. I did not want a deep fried pizza. So stay tuned. We might make this one again uh, in the future, but for now, like that's, it's, it's good. You know, it's, it's solid. Like it's a solid pizza. And it's just a, it's just a frozen generic pizza. Like there's nothing special about it. So, all right guys, thanks for, thanks for coming along for the journey. It was fun. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye.